Now to a developing story tonight. Stunning allegations against Attorney General Tish James of New York that when a top aide was accused of sexual harassment, she kept quiet. Some say that she's handling it far differently than her aggressive investigation of former Governor Andrew Cuomo. CBS2 political reporter Marcia Kramer here in studio with more on this story. Marcia? Well, Christina Maurice, the charges are coming from one of the women whose allegations of sexual harassment led to the resignation of the Attorney General's closest aide, her longtime chief of staff. She raises many questions about how the case was handled, and others have wondered why the Attorney General waited until after she won re-election to make the case public. Sophia Quintanar worked for Attorney General Tish James as a deputy press secretary until last year. She is speaking out tonight as both the victim of sexual harassment from James Chief of Staff Ibrahim Khan and as a former employee who doesn't understand how her case was handled differently from the sexual harassment case brought by the office against former Governor Andrew Cuomo that forced him to resign. She charges that James took more care to protect Ibrahim Khan than the women who accused him of abuse. I find it just appalling to see how the office handled this publicly, Ms. Quinton R33 said in an interview with the New York Times. Me and the other victims, we deserve the same vindication that was given to those other victims that she stood up for. It shouldn't be any different because it happened in her house. Sophia Quintanar said she was referring to how Tish James protected the 11 women she claimed were victimized by Andrew Cuomo. She said Khan touched her inappropriately after a Brooklyn fundraiser and kissed her against her will. One of the problems for the Attorney General is that she didn't disclose the investigation of Khan until last week, even though the probe of the charges was going on while she sought re-election. And it wasn't until today that she offered a public defense of her actions, saying, quote, My office treated this matter as aggressive as every other matter that has come before our office. Within 24 hours, our office took disciplinary action and put Ibrahim Khan under restrictions. And within 72 hours, we engaged an outside law firm that began an impartial and exhaustive review of the allegations. But the issue has continued to percolate, and there are demands for an outside probe of the case. Governor Hochul was asked if it was unethical to hide the case until after the election. I'm not going to conjecture on what's on people's minds and what their motivations are. I'm simply saying that there's a lot of, it's, the situation is not very clear. Well, it is unclear at this point if an outside probe will take place. Democrats control both the Assembly and the Senate, but they may be pushed to do something to show their impartiality. But I can tell you the demands for a probe are also coming from friends of the former governor who feel he wasn't treated fairly. Christina Morris. To be continued, Marcia. Think Thank, so, yeah. Thanks so much. Thank you, Marcia.